Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to display the draft const, the draft preview content. Uh, so if you click on the preview, you can see that it goes to the login if you log in and then you're able to see the the preview option right so notice that this is not a preview this is actually published and even then if you click on this preview on front end you'll be able to go and look at the preview right so so this doesn't only work for the draft post but it also works for the published post okay which is great so we're done with the post preview let's do the page preview so So for that, all I'm going to do is, so all I'm going to do is just say page slash ID, page slash preview slash ID. So this is the file. Again, you can take the code from the next year's headless WordPress repository. And I'm going to do a copy from here, go back to our page and then preview and then ID. I have already explained all of this to you in the previous video, but I'll reiterate for you. So what's going to happen is, okay, so let's say this is the page, you click on preview. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to close this one for now and then I'll explain to you. So what's going to happen is that we've already created a, a preview endpoint. So it hits that slash API slash preview, it passes the post type page, post ID. In this case, is going to get the auth token from the cookie. So this function basically is going to pass the cookie and if it's present is going to give us that information. If the auth token is not present, it's going to redirect to the login page, which is what it's doing now. Uh, and then if it's already authenticated, if the auth token is present in the cookie, then it's going to pass it directly to that particular post uh, preview page. So in this case, it'll be the page preview page. Yeah. Uh, so now in this situation, auth token isn't present. So is redirecting you to the login. It's passing the post type and the preview post ID. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So once you do that, it's going, to, so we are currently on this uh, login page. So it's redirected to this long, login page. And notice that it's passed the post type as well as the preview post ID on top, which is here. And once it reaches here, it's going to use this form that we have. Okay, and once this form is submitted, which is putting the ID and password, it's going to make a call to slash API slash login, uh, which is an endpoint on the next JS. So we have the login.js and over here what we do is we call the login user, which basically is going to make a query, which basically is going to do a mutation called login. Okay, and then it's going to take the username and password and it's going to return the auth token for you. So it's going to pass the auth token and return. So we're going to get that in the data. Then we're going to set the cookie with auth value equals whatever that auth token is. And then we go ahead and send the response as success is true. It comes back over here. If we get the response as true, success, we go ahead and redirect the user to the uh, page preview URL. So we get the page preview URL from here. So in this case it's page slash preview slash ID. So it's going to land up over here, page slash preview slash ID. So then it's going to redirect it there. So it's going to use the router dot push to do that. So once you land onto this page, what's going to happen is because the cookie was already set, it's going to get the cookie from the, uh, is going to get the cookie by parsing it and then we're going to pass the auth token inside of the authorization headers when we are doing a query to get that particular page so in this case this one and then we also need to get the page by id function so let's do that so i'm going to go to get page and then i'm going to paste that query here okay so it's basically getting the page by ID, all right? So it's gonna make that call, get the page by ID, get the data by passing the ID from the URL. So notice that, so once you hit it, it's gonna make that uh, ID available in the URL. So we're gonna get that from the params and then we're going to pass that information. 
uh, the ID, uh, we get the data, we go ahead and check uh, if we've got the data or not. If we don't, then this handle redirect is going to take care of whether it needs to go back to login or it needs to return 503 or 404, okay? Then this data is passed to your page preview component. Page preview is going to pass that to layout, which will contain your header and footer. And then you're also going to show the content, okay? So what we're gonna do now is hit it. And notice what happens. Congratulations, so you've got your preview being shown over here, right? Now if I go to post, and then if I click on preview, I can preview the draft post. You can see, I don't have to log in now. And then if I want to preview the published post also, I can click over here, click on the front end preview URL like so, and it's, it's going to show the preview to me. Uh, so the pages work, the preview for draft as well as published post work, which is amazing. Congratulations, we just built a preview functionality in headless WordPress environment. Awesome, with authentication. All right, brilliant. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And uh, do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Coditech. And do follow me on GitHub as well. My GitHub handle is Imran Aitsaya. Then thanks to all of the 635 followers. And thanks everyone for following me and supporting my work. And please give star to my repository as well. The repository name is Next Year's Headless WordPress. Again, thanks to beautiful 80 people who have given star to my repository. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next video with something more exciting. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.